Hi team. In this video, I will explain you about CIS H008 data analysis related task. As a part of task two, we need to create exploratory data analysis and the linear regression analysis, and we should provide our inference about the data that is generated out of the process. If you cross check this task 1.1, it is related to the exploratory data analysis. And for this analysis, we need some data. So data is given in housing.csv file that is present in our assignment file. So this is housing.data. It contains 14 different variables and approximately 506 records there are 506 records okay so this is the information we have and we try to analyze this data and provide some proper insights on the insights as per the require requirements as it is asked in the requirement file so first task is creating a screen picture this will be generated by me and uh, I, I will show you how to do that Maybe like if possible, when you got some rapid manner software installed on your system, you can work on it. See, I will show you how to create it. So first, uh, what we what we do is like we will be importing data into the data folder, and um, we will be using this file to generate exploratory data analysis. How we do that? So we create a blank project. And into that, uh, we will be dragging our database. So usually, like uh, to analyze data, we will be using either SQL or even if we are working on Excel file, we need to use a lot of formulas. Right here, it is very easy to extract details about the data. So let me check for um, extract aggregates. Means see whatever the exploratory data analysis generates, that a kind of data, minimum, maximum, count, all these are aggregates okay so we need to extract aggregates so we use a function we'll be having functions like this these are automatically coded functions and we will just drag it and we drop onto the process pane and from output we try to connect it to the extract aggregates function and what we do is uh, we generate let's see here when we select this one it shows normal data one when we select ex exact extract aggregates function it provides you what kind of information uh, we need to extract so we can select if you want only some you can select only some if you want uh, any additional information you can select all those things whatever you want okay then uh, we will be generating result out of it so we'll be connecting features to results set just run it and you can see all the details related to the data so this is attribute one it's some and it's mean, it's geometric mean, it's first quarter. In this way, we can generate uh, exploratory data by using rapid miner. Okay, this is very simple. Huh? So now for the first task, what he want is he want the screen. So we can extract the screen and we can copy into our document. Let's say copied it. So like this, um, maybe I didn't copy it. Uh, let me copy that one for you. So print screen and uh, paste it to here. So copying process and pasting. This is just an activity, and we name it. Uh, maybe if I don't name it, please name it here. Um, figure one. The second task uh, it is asked let's see we need to generate uh, this our design and then we need to tablet all the details okay so so what i do is here whatever the results i got i can copy paste it but um, in the question it is clearly asked to pro provide the details such as missing values and um, invalid values like that so if you don't 
create those things also is fine but um, as missing values is important for this process we can get missing values directly from the statistics of the data so this is the local repository it contains some basic statistics so this is the result of our function exact aggregates function okay if this is the table you can just copy paste your table and uh, like uh, we filter in uh, Excel, you can filter based on the values, okay, up from lower to up, upper to lower, okay, so you can do in that way also, so when we got all these values, you can tabulate them um, by taking like this, by copying and pasting onto it, otherwise, um, you can just take a screenshot of it and you can keep, keep it, but it is as good to provide a table, right, so we copy it into Excel sheet and we try to produce it all right so this is how we get in excel sheet all the details okay we put all the details right we copy it and we paste it onto the application next is as we don't have missing values in the generated table we try to find them so this is function result right and this one is a uh, general information about the each and every attribute if you see here uh, we got uh, details related to the missing values the missing values so it's very easy to generate the missing values now just uh, what i do is like i will add missing here and i will add zeros so all zeros okay so then again i don't have names of uh, each column here uh, time series uh, so i have time series what is the time series that we took some main geometric main first four type so i will try to add all those details okay geometric mean first quartile median third quartile minimum median third Kurtosis and skewness. Okay, this is all about our data, and uh, we create table of it, and uh, we just copy this one, and we'll paste it onto our. Don't need uh, to write anything for the task two also. Okay, this is just a table. It was asked to create a table. We give caption to the table. Table. Control E. Table. EDA analysis. Okay. So I create a table. Then uh, for the third task, we need to provide some details related to the details that are collected. Uh, like details about the data that is generated okay so we do generated some ed analysis right we need to describe the data then uh, we need to identify top five performing attributes means predicting attributes which can influence median values if you just check this one so median value of offices medv okay so among these 14 factors and excluding medv we have 13 other variables right so among these 13 variables what are the top five variables that can uh, that are uh, that has the ability to predict median value okay top five influencing values should be identified what we do is that for that purpose we need to generate correlation analysis okay so before doing that uh, let us uh, 
try to describe details that are provided in the table 2.1 that is exploratory data results so, so based on these values we can uh, explain some important information okay so let us uh, focus on mean median standard deviation maybe missing values okay so these are some important uh, details that explains about the data so take considering the mean value we can say the like an average uh, the factor has a value of mean so i i, I guess if people know about the mean but still it is a mean is an average method and uh, we can uh, identify central tendency means like if we properly distribute complete data what is the average value which can be applied to the complete set of data for example if we generated 100 values like you got 100 subjects and if you got marks for 100 subjects your average score can be applied for all the 100 subjects okay it's a central tendency median is also a central tendency and uh, here it, it just there is no mode i guess okay so maybe mode mode is also central tendency okay these central tendency values uh, helps you to understand how a value can be applied for each and every element of the set okay when we are analyzing this table uh, it is nothing to do with median value it is a indiv individually for each attribute we try to explain about the kind of values it has and how it is distributed across the like given data okay total value of that particular field and uh, average value of that particular field geometric mean of that particular field. if you cross check some details about uh, what is mean by geometric mean what is mean by median what is third quartile what is fourth first quartile when you uh, try to read about these things you get some good information related to it try to uh, write about three or four important factors like definitely include about median value variable value of uh, the data and if you don't understand these things you just cross check uh, this uh, data dictionary file so in this data dictionary each and every variable is clearly explained so if you want to say that crm crm don't say crm the per, uh, proper capita crime rate value is average value of per capita crime rate is some 253.5 and uh, based on the mean we can identify that in that way we should explain okay so just for in this video i will stop here in the next video i will discuss about correlation okay so just write about this as it is explained all right if you don't understand this one uh, i i recommend you to cross check what is mean and uh, how it will be evaluated whatever the field it is that you select so, like you can identify one particular type of exploratory data analysis field and you can explain things okay so need not to explain all the fields just select three or four fields and try to write a hundred words about it we will discuss about four or five different elements of the exploratory data analysis okay that's it guys in the next video i will explain you about correlation analysis thank you